Hello, and welcome to Bedtime Stories with Mozart. This is a podcast designed to help young ones fall asleep. As a group of youth musicians, we are passionate about exposing others to classical music. Each episode, we will read a bedtime story, followed by a short excerpt of a calming selection of classical music. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Today, I'll be reading The Pumpkin in the Jar. One day in a long time ago, King Adovanus went out into the plains to hunt for deer, and he accidentally became separated from his companions. Wandering about, the king saw a hut that was surrounded by a garden. Tending the garden, was a beautiful young maiden. The king spoke to the maiden and said, Tell me, lass, what plants are you growing here? She replied, I am raising pumpkins and melons. Now, the king happened to be thirsty, and so he asked the maiden for a drink. We were hunting in the heat of the day, he said, and I felt a terrible thirst come over me. The maiden replied, Oh, king, We have water to be sure, but only an old crude jar in which to serve it. Surely it is not right or worthy that your majesty should drink from such a crude jar. Now, if we had a jar of pure gold in which we could pour water from a crystal clear fountain, then that would be a proper offering for your majesty. The king replied to the girl, Never mind the jar, I am terribly thirsty. I care not if the jar is old, provided that the water is cool. The maiden went into the house, fetched the jar, and filled it with clear, cool water. Presently, the king drank his fill. After he had finished, the king handed her back the jar. Then suddenly, the maiden struck the jar against the staircase. It shattered to bits. The king wondered at this strange act and in his heart he thought the maiden had no manners at all. He he cried, You see that I am a noble king, and you know that I hold the crown. For what possible reason did you shatter that jar received from my hands? The maiden replied, The reason I broke the jar, which has been kept for so many years by my mother, O king, is that I should not like to have it used by anyone else after you, your majesty, has touched it. Upon hearing that, the king made no reply. In his heart, he marveled at the actions of the woman and determined that she was a good, virtuous maiden after all. As he returned toward the city, a thought began to grow on him. He wondered whether the maiden was as clever as she was virtuous. After some time, the king one day ordered a soldier to carry to the maiden a new jar one with an opening at the top, not much more than one inch across. The soldier's orders were to tell the maiden that the jar was from the king, and that she was to put an entire pumpkin inside the jar. The soldier was also to tell the maiden that she should not break the jar under any circumstance. Both the jar, with the small opening at the top, and the pumpkin must remain whole. The maiden returned a message to the king that she was certain she could do what his majesty ordered, but that such a task might take some time. Indeed, it was several months before the maiden arrived at the palace. In her hands, she held the same jar, and sure enough, an entire pumpkin sat inside of it. When the king closely examined the jar, he confirmed that the jar was the same one that he had delivered. What's more, he saw that both the jar and the pumpkin were completely undamaged. He asked the maiden to marry him on the spot, as she was as clever as she was virtuous, and she gladly accepted. Later, in their royal chambers, when the new wife revealed her secret, the king laughed long and hard. She had placed a pumpkin bud, one that was still attached to a vine in the ground, inside the jar through its small opening. Over time, the pumpkin bud grew into a full-sized pumpkin. When the pumpkin filled the jar, she simply cut off the stem and delivered the jar with the pumpkin to the palace. The king 
laughed hard and hard, and they all lived together happily ever after. The end. Thanks for listening. Be sure to remember to follow so you never miss an episode. Now, you'll be hearing the Sibelius Violin Concerto Movement 1 performed by Tristan Siegel. Good night.